Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 107, question mark, yes. of the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of February 10th. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting with me through the internet digitally, Alex. Hello and salutations. Okay, to... all right. That was already <laughs> just immediately off to a horrible start with that. Just yeah. immediately... I don't want to. Hey, keep everyone! You know, <laughs> it's, it's like the things like you know you don't want to say the same yeah. word. How you doing over and over and over again? So I always try to find something. Okay. And then halfway me saying something, I forget it. Mm. And I was like, ah, <laughs> ah. continue. <laughs> well, aside from whatever that was, this is the Easy Cheers Game Podcast. We come to you every single Friday, where we bring you the news. Could be news that we pick out, could be something breaking, like the last couple podcasts that we've had, or it just could be some stuff that we want to talk about. Alex, quickly, we're going to go over a Nintendo Direct. Um, yeah. That's going to be kind of the main thing. We're going to go over this Assassin's Creed news that we might have heard of as well. Before we get into that, Alex, I do have a question for you. But before I even get into that, remember, this is an Easy Shivers Game Podcast. It's come to you. Through the free waves on youtube.com slash achievers or some sort of podcast service of your choice. Remember, like, subscribe, share on YouTube. Give us a comment. That helps the algorithm. Over on the podcast network, if you're listening on Spotify, they now do five-star reviews. Give us a five-star review. Helps the algorithm. If you want to help us financially, of course, it's not necessary, but you can head over to patreon.com slash achievers and give us a dollar. There's multiple tiers. You get early access to things. There's ways to DM us to get on the show, Patreon. It's just a easier way of communicating with us directly. Alex, mm. one question for you, as I do every single week. What, what is up? What have you been playing? Mm. Dying Light 2. I have as well. <clears throat> yeah, so far, I, I like it. I'm not saying it's an amazing game. I'm, I'm going to point that out right now. There, <laughs> I, there's some here things. Um... There is some there's some issues. You're like, why did they make the, like decision issues? You know, yeah. I was like, oh, why did they do that? Why did they do this? But overall, so far, I'm fairly like having fun with the game. And yesterday, I pulled up my map and I was like, this game is huge, mm. like map wise. Because there's a I I'm only in the first like second area type of thing. There's like a whole other area, and I'm like, oh, I was not expecting that. I agree with basically everything. I'm in the early of the game, so I can't really like, mm. pretend like I know uh, much of how the game's uh, going to play out. But it feels like Dying Light 1 again, which is either exciting or disappointing to people if you're looking for something different. Um, this kind of just so far, if you like, if I started this game and no one told me what the game was, I would have been like, is this Dying Light 1? Am I playing the opening again? Like, it's almost like it almost feels the exact same game. So, so far, nothing hugely different to me. Um, the skills look fairly fun, but pretty, they so far seem kind of generic. I'm excited to be able to actually, like, whenever the game opens for me, you know, like when you actually get to do the stuff, mm -hmm. I'm excited to get to that so I can actually parkour through the sure. playground and do stuff. So I'm excited yeah, for that. Yeah, it just get better once you get to that point because then you, you can start having better weapons, and I've had so many cool weapons, and you can put mod the mods on them. It feels like literally, like, Dead, like Dead Island. Yeah, it's, it's very like Dead a, Island yeah. in a lot of ways. Um, so yeah, yeah, especially with the weapons. Whenever I pick up a weapon, I'm like, God, this feels like Dead Island. The only thing is missing from Dead Island. I don't know if you remember, but you could like wrap barbed wire around a knife, which would make it less efficient. Mm -hmm. But hey, who cares? It's a game. Less efficient. Yeah, yeah I, it makes I, it more dull. Okay? <laughs> you're just beating them with a wire. It, beca and a stick. it, it becomes instead of sharp, it becomes blunt. Mm, so. And you're just beating them to death. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. And I'm, I am kind of curious what's up with the main character, too. They open and very quickly try to get you to, like, what you're going to do in the game. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I kind of want to see how this plays out with whatever's going to happen. But it is, like, the... Um... I'm kind of... I feel like I'm... It's weird because I feel like I know where the story is going, but I can totally be 100% wrong. Yeah. I, but I, I like to I, hope I... that I think I know where it's going, so yeah. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to keep playing. I... Already, I'm going to say, I don't promise I'm beating this before Horizon. But when Horizon mm. comes out, this is dead to me. So I'm going to try. Mm. Um, the game, I'll probably beat it by then. The game has... Well, the, I, 
I'm not saying the game's pulling me enough to get to that. I want to play Pokemon mm-hmm. for this, like easily. Gotcha. So and see, I'm, yeah, and see with Pokemon, I, I'm I've been playing here and there, but like I'm not for some reason. I just, Pokemon is a game to where like it's not like God of War, Last of Us, where I was like, oh, I need to know the story and I I, I need to finish it. Pokemon is that type of game for me that it's like I pick it up and I'm like, oh, I'm having fun for a couple hours and then I put it down. So I I don't need to beat it right now. Yeah, I guess I'm the. S- I'm the same way. I don't care about the story. I'm. I just care about collecting yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm just enjoying really what I'm doing. So it's like, and then I put it down, and I'm like, okay, I'll come back to it later. And then I'm as, when I pick it up, I enjoy it again. So it's like, it's one of those games where I was like, I'm. It's one of those uh, in between games. I'm like just playing back and forth, like Smash. Like you know, when you play Smash, pick it up, play a match, and then you're done. Hmm. Aside from Dying Light, nothing new here. I keep playing Pokemon. I'm about halfway through the game. I think it's awesome. I love the game. So I'm playing Legends. Yeah. Um, aside from that, really more Destiny. I'm just waiting for Witch Queen. So, and Horizon yeah, I've been playing... is t- eight days away. So I'm waiting for that. Yeah, you got me back on Destiny. So we've been playing some Destiny together. Yep, just kind of cleaning up some stuff. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yep. Alex, hmm. let's get into qu- uh, news. But uh, f- really quickly, I do want your thoughts. I didn't put this as a news item because it would be the whole show. So I, I didn't feel like that was fair. Okay. And also, I didn't, you know, there's so much Nintendo Direct. I feel like if you want a huge summation of the Nintendo Direct, there's a, a bunch of different articles and things you can get. Around. Alex, I just want to know what were your standouts from the Directs, and I'll give you my standouts. And um, then if you're then an audience member right now, you're like, oh, I want to know the whole thing. I do recommend watching it. It was actually pretty good. Yeah. No, um, yeah. It's actually one of the, the, I was like, oh, there are actually some stuff that I'm excited to play. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to do a quick, let's just talk about the Direct real quick. So what were a couple games that stood out? What were some choices Nintendo made. What 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 is that couple of stuff that stood out for the direct for you? Um the first one was the Fire Emblems uh three three what was it called? Three something. Uh the it's called Fire Emblem Warriors is the series and then it's and then No no um, no I know but the game that they show it is it's like because it, the game was three houses the one before. This one is like three something. Uh three hopes or something three hopes yeah three hope maybe like yeah I, I don't that know. It, well, they showed up the new fire emblem game it looks cool i actually makes me want to go back and finish three houses because i was playing that for a while and i did enjoy yeah. that i fire just emblem three hopes. playing it Comes yeah to Switch um, June. but yeah that was one of my big ones that popped out uh surprisingly mario strikers that looks kind of fun yes um, it does it looks yeah. very fun i did um, you play it on wii by chance no, I never played I, Mario Strikers. I, didn't I always played Mario Golf and then like some other and then the tennis. Mm. I um, always played um uh uh on the DS. It was called Mario Hoops 3 on 3. That's the that's oh, like the I one. That, yeah. I miss that. Mm-hmm. I love that game. That was awesome. Yeah. Um the other one was I I love the that they brought back Nintendo Sports. The, so it's Switch Sports now. <laughs> yeah, so Switch Sports. I'm yeah. definitely playing that. Or say, uh, I miss that bowling. to uh, Wii Sports, the crazy popular game for when the Wii came out, and the Wii launched. I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that was that was really fun to uh, to see again, and you can like sign up for the like test thing. I was like, it's pretty cool. And then the other thing was. Um, Oh, one one thing I want to point out: the Metroid Dread. I like how they now put on rookie mode. Like, yeah. where was this when last year when I was playing the game? <laughs> I'm curious if they heard feedback that the game was just kind of too hard for them, so they were like, "Okay, we'll put this mode in, and it'll make it easy." And then yeah, I just they, sucks because I can't. And then they went the other already. way, and then they went the other way, and were like, "If you want a really hard mode, we have one where you'll die in one hit," <laughs> which mm-hmm. is like, wow. Yeah, I'm just upset that they had they did it, like you won't be able like I, at least I don't think you can, but you can't switch your your difficulty during like I want to keep they say playing. That? I they just says that there there's an easy mode, but like I mean, have you ever been able to switch a difficulty in game in those games? Oh, in Metroid specifically? Yeah. No, but they've never had difficulties. I don't believe. Hmm. So I wonder if it'll let me switch it because if I could switch Maybe it, not. I'll go back to that game and enjoy it. Yeah. I just don't think it'll be a thing. Mm. Or you could just um, play the game again. I'm not restarting that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing that. Um, 
the last there was the one last thing that I thought it was really cool. Um, I assume it's the oh, Mario the, Kart. Yes, the yeah. Mario Kart Eight, the booster course pack. Yes. You get like like forty eight different courses. Forty eight, and it's included with the membership if you have the expansion pass mm -hmm. part. So I'm excited for Very that. Very cool. Yep. Keeps keeps you incentivized to keep the membership point too. No, you don't, for sure. For you sure. never own these expansions, so you have to keep paying for them to uh, keep keep them. Mm -hmm. So it's always yep. a smart business move. Um, what about you? Anything to stand out? Yeah. So the Fire Emblem thing that you already covered, I'm very excited. Hopefully it covers a certain time frame within the three houses games that we don't know what happens. We do know what happens, but to actually experience it would be very nice. Um, I do not know the, how the setting works, so maybe it's not that at all. and Maybe it's something else. Um, I saw some characters that I didn't recognize. I assume they're new to that story, whatever that is. So I'm excited to play that. Um, a couple games that stood out to me. I'm excited for Triangle Strategy. We've known about that, though, but I do want to play that. I actually might try that demo out since the uh, story progresses into the game. Um, then there was uh, Live Alive, which looks really cool. Apparently, it's a retro game that was only in Japan. I, I don't remember what they said it originally launched on. But, SNES. Uh, live uh, SNES, you said? I so think that, it, or it says it, says it, it made a it a holy Con, girl for man. the lovers of SNES RPGs. So it was on SNES. So it would have been a fam Super Famicom then. Um, because it was only in, um, in Japan. Let's see here. Yeah. Anyways, uh, very excited for that. Uh... That's really it. The Strikers was really cool. You kind of covered everything that I was excited for. Um, mm -hmm. The Kirby thing was wild. Uh, when it I swallowed the car, became the car, and then there's light bulb powers. All that was wild. There's a vending machine, so he becomes the items now. It was very strange. When I heard very about Mario Odyssey. Well, when I heard about this game, I thought people were saying that it's like, oh, it's the first Kirby open world game or whatever. But it's, it's not open world. It's just like a uh, Mario 3D world where it's just kind of like it's more linear. It's still linear, but it's just a little bit more open. So right. for some reason, I thought I kept hearing people say it's like, oh, this open, this open Kirby is going to is going to be, you know, very exp or it's going to be like awesome. But I was like, it's not really open world <laughs> like how they did with Odyssey. OK. I s yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Kirby has never gotten to me the only I've only liked one Kirby game and I was air right on GameCube. Think, that was it. I don't think I've ever played a Kirby game. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Maybe that as a kid even I a played traditional some, Kirby game. That's maybe why I played I some DS like, game. Yeah. But I don't I don't think I ever actually enjoyed a Kirby game. Yeah. And, anyways, um Do you care for Chrono Cross? So I would have cared for Chrono Trigger. I have never yeah. played Chrono Cross. Okay. I I do want to play it to try it, but it is apparently just not. It's just not as good as Trigger, which, to be fair, mm -hmm. is saying Bioshock Infinite isn't as good as Bioshock. I mean, it's a. It's like saying like this ten out of ten is not good as that ten out of ten. Not saying Cross is a ten out of ten. I'm just saying as an example, yeah. well, Trigger was one of the best JRPGs ever made. So, you know, not shocking that the sequel is not better or even as good I'm as surprised it. they did that uh, though and not trigger uh it makes me ask questions it makes me ask questions why right. first off this is not remastered i'm sorry it looks the exact same so hmm. maybe there's some sort of background remaster going on this looks like just a straight up re-release they're bringing in the text adventure that was only in the in japan i believe that was uh i don't remember how it was sold but it, it, there's a, a text adventure that is coming with that game. So even that's on there? So why isn't Trigger involved in any of this? Maybe there's weird publishing rights, or maybe there is maybe something weird it. happening. Maybe there is. Maybe they are remaking that game now, and yeah. they're just releasing this to be like, hey, we need some quick cash. Um, speaking yeah. of which, who owns Chrono Trigger right now? Is it still Square Enix? I assume so. I believe so. Chrono Trigger. Pretty sure they do. I'm just gonna assume they do. Yes. Yep. It. Yeah. It looks like it. Uh, cool. Comment if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's still Square Enix. So maybe maybe they're doing something. And they're like, hey, you can have us for whatever agreement they have. Who knows? Alex, uh, this is one of the rapid fires mm -hmm. alongside the 
direct uh, Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit's film. And, uh, f- sorry, let me back up. Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit of series film and gaming rights are up. So this is a variety exclusive. Hmm. Uh, Alex, hmm. what? That's pretty crazy. Like they are just like, hey, um, anyone want to make stuff? Like that's basically what it is. I saw a very funny um, reaction to this on Twitter of like, at micro- like everyone like at Microsoft like I and like I and it, like <laughs> oh we're trying to buy stuff. Um, so I just wanted to bring that up really quick. There's not really much else to say. It's just it's up for sale. So you yeah. can you can put. It, I have the thing right here. Nothing really um, is set now. Obviously, this is put up when the amazon series is set to release True. september yeah. 2nd so obviously they're trying to jack up the price i'm sure to incentivize people to not only spend big bucks on it but also get them to get it so just wanted to bring that up as a rapid fire maybe we'll get some lord of the ring games in three to four years which maybe i want i don't know if you played this alex uh ps2 game battle for middle earth do you ever play that Sounds familiar. Let me see. Because I did it was an play awesome one. Game. I played one. I think I played Conquest. Let me make sure. Conquest wasn't that the Middle was that the four. online game? I don't. There was a story no. one. Um. Re- oh no, the Battle for Midor. That's a real time strategy game. So no, I did not play this. That was a, that was an awesome. I played. Game. Let me see. It was like it's kind of like a story one. I think I played. Yeah, okay. I think I played Conquest. It was on at 360. I played the two, uh, the two towers. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. As I played well. Conquest. It was Return on of the King was awesome. Did you play Return mm. of the King? Mm-mm. Oh my god, that was so good. No, I think honestly, my my first Lord of the Rings game was Conquest, and then I then the Shadow. The Shadow series came out. I didn't play much of the Lord of the Ring games. One of those games where it was like shockingly good. Like you, you don't think like some something with, like because back then, you were you were gambling if a mm-hmm. if a known IP was getting in a game, right? Even when Star Wars Force Unleashed, we were all like, "Is this gonna be good?" And it was awesome. Mm-hmm. You're like, "Oh, this is cool." Um, yeah. but but may, you might get a Thor God of Thunder game. You don't know. You might get an. Uh, Marvel. Uh, what was, was it? Just called Iron Man Two? No, whatever that Iron Man game that came out for PS3 and 360 was. Like, you just might get those garbage games, or you might get Spider Man Two, which was, was uh, apparently awesome. It was just called Iron Man. Yeah, terrible. Honestly, terrible. I play. I played. I played the Iron Man game. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. That's fine. Yeah, it was whatever. Yeah, Alex, let's mm-hmm. talk about the news. Cool. This is interesting. So. We originally were going to have an Assassin's Creed number one, but I felt Mm. it more important to bring up a clarification that maybe we can read in more. Microsoft has came out and stated on multiple times now in the last couple days that Call of Duty will remain multi-platform, not Warzone, not side project. Call of Duty, the game comes to everything. This is a direct quote. So, to be clear, Microsoft will continue to make Call of Duty and other popular Activision Blizzard titles available on PlayStation through the term of an existing agreement with Activision. And we have commented to Sony that we will also make them available on PlayStation beyond the existing agreement and into the future so that Sony fans can continue to load your games they love. We're also interested in taking similar steps to support Nintendo's successful platform. We believe this is the right thing for the industry, for gamers, and for our business. Now, I can take this in multiple different directions. Uh, not only has Twitter been hilarious with everyone roasting each other, um, everyone's making fun of each other because everyone said one thing and now, now they're wrong and everyone's making fun of everyone. It's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. But, Alex, mm. seems that your approximation was pretty much correct. I mm-hmm. was kind of the, on the fence of the whole thing, I kind of leans toward they weren't going to be exclusive, or at the very least, they would now have a limited time. No, uh, if you remember, I, they had a they now had a bargaining piece. We have COD, so now mm. we want X thing. I I thought maybe you know we want COD on PlayStation. 
let us put Game Pass on it. That's mm. what I kind of came around. They're being they're, but, they're being the better man. No, no, they're not. They want they want money. Let's not let's not get that. Let's not get that. <laughs> they want money. So that, this yeah, is no better man scenario. They want a lot of money. Uh, Call of Duty sells the most on PlayStation. It if on paper it makes sense to put it on PlayStation. First off, you cut your player base by two thirds. I think if you take it off of PlayStation, so now you have a third of the original player base. Let's say let's say they get a fourth of that from people buying xboxes to play cod so now you have half of your player I wonder, base from playstation i wonder so, which platform has the most cod of duty players playstation playstation PC, playstation i believe so i think it's the most I, I think playstation si- i'm talking too fast sorry call of duty sells the most on playstation if i remember correctly you can fact check me please but i'm pretty sure playstation sells the most call of duty copies therefore has the most people on it as far as i understand even if you account for PC sales, which I believe you can tell by just looking at like player counts and things. So it shouldn't be hard to find, I imagine. I believe PlayStation is the most active. Xbox is probably last uh, because it's just, there's not that many Xboxes out there comparatively, comparatively to PlayStation's aim. Anyways, and also they, they did like the marketing agreement thing. So, and it's not, uh, we, and, Call of Duty hasn't been huge on Xbox really since 360. Modern yeah. Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, those were huge, huge dimes for for Xbox with Call of Duty. And really ever since PS4, it's just kind of only been PlayStation with COD. And I don't blame people who want Call of Duty to buy PlayStation because they have those little extra bonuses every year. So, Alex, <sighs> this is the last time we're probably talking about this. Because now we have, without a doubt, news on this. Is this shock you all? Is this surprising to you? Do you have anything to expound on? Anything further? We've talked about this basically for a month now, so I understand if you're tired of it. But do <laughs> you like, have anything? It. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to add to this very, very drawn out conversation? No. Cool. Moving on. I don't have anything in that either, really. I, I, I've, I've said my piece. Yes. Like, I, I get I, it. Like, I, I, of course, they're going to be on all platforms. I like, did, relax. I did want to quickly bring up, I would not be shocked if the Bungie situation affected this at all. Mm-hmm. Um, do not... I, I just wanted to bring that up. I wouldn't be shocked if PlayStation's approach to the Bungie acquisition made Microsoft half to make it clear like this because you now had your main competitor be very open and honest about destiny whereas you have been cryptic as as all get out with how <laughs> it's going to work on Xbox yeah so now maybe that was a reaction to that maybe there's backroom talks we don't know we don't know <laughs> let's go back to Ubisoft this is a report from Bloomberg. I believe this is by Jason Schreier. They do the thing where like you only get a few clicks every few weeks. So I, I don't know who it is anymore because I can't look at the article. But I'm pretty sure it's Jason Schreier. Um, so he reports that there is a game codenamed Rift. was originally planned as an expansion for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but morphed into a full game late last year. Um, there's people speaking that are familiar with the actual project. They're speaking anonymously, of course. Um, it will star Bassam, a popular assassin character from Valhalla, and it will be smaller in scope than recent games in the series. The game won't be a massive open-world role-playing game like previous entries, fo- uh, focusing instead on more stealth gameplay. Planned for later this year or 2023. That was a quick quote from that article. Alex, you kind of called this the last time we talked about assassins. You did bring up mm-hmm. that we might play as Bassam. Or, or sorry, um, Bassam. Bassam as Mm -hmm. a potential character or a potential through line to the story later on and you kind of nailed it so yeah because i mean what was what was the point of doing the ending that's true yeah they did a big build up i i should have saw it coming too i just i think he is interesting i just do not want to play as him if that makes any sense you know what i mean like he's like the new he's like the new desmond so is he though Maybe or the I wouldn't say he's the new Desmond, right? 
the, like the Lila chick. Remember the? One? I think oh, I so you're just saying he's like a new character, new main. Sorry, new, new main. He's the character. new future guy. Really? Mm, I don't like that. <laughs> that or I mean, I maybe we'll stay involved. in current times, and maybe mm. I mean I don't know. I don't, I don't know what type of magic this man holds. <laughs> if he has some sort of magic at all, I think he does, right? I don't know. I. It's Assassin's Creed. I mean, we've seen the That's damn true. the true. Eden. He, he ate so. an apple of Eden, and now magic. Yeah, right. What do you want from this? Do you want like a Splinter Cell like stealthy game where he's? First off, I can't even imagine what he has to do because we're in. We're now in present day. We're Bassam, right? Present day. Mm -hmm. Assuming we're not going back to Valhalla time, we are now no, in Bassam I present this day. Game is what gonna... are we? What are we doing? I assume this this is gonna because this is a new stealth game, so it's I don't feel like it's the it's the full on assassin game they were getting. I think it's just it's a lot smaller. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of so maybe it could be it's 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 like less smaller than like you know how Miles Morales was to Spider Man. Like you know it's it's even smaller than that. I feel like uh, I think it's just gonna be just strictly stealth to where like what he's going to be up to because you know half the time we never see what the future person is up to we just go we just see them in a certain area be like okay we're here now we're going to go back in time and figure out what's up with these people but instead i feel like it's going to be reversed we're going to figure out what he's doing to like or why he's getting all this information of the old assassins and then the next game will probably be about that assassin he's researching okay that's actually so like sounds kind of cool. Yeah, so like with Valhalla, like why did we, why are we talk, why are we playing as Avor? Like why, why was their main focus on that? Yeah. And so like now this will exp like whoever the protagonist is for the next big game, Bassem is gonna be like, oh okay, I need to look into this descendant or this person because they have some sort of thing down the line, and then maybe that's what the next game is about. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, so isn't right. it like it's stealthy? So I think I could see a like Splinter Cell type of thing. Like you know, you gotta hide in the shadows. I assume he'll have a hood. He'll have his blade, and I just hope uh, they don't do the thing where because he was kind of like the villain. So I hope they don't make us play a villain to where, like he's still bad. So I was like, I don't want to be the bad guy. Yeah, we do end in a very weird situation with him because it's like yeah. You have this villain character, and all the other characters are like, oh my god, he's evil, but they're still hanging out with him. So I'm like. Like, yeah, so are you gonna like, just like mm. handcuff him or something? <laughs> like, he seems yeah. like he could kind of do whatever. So that's what he I wants. want to figure out. Like, I might have to replay the ending just to see, like, may, like is he good now or like he's just doing a mutual thing? Yeah, maybe this like, is all for what he wants. I, honestly, I don't even remember what his motivations are. I remember he didn't like Ivor, and I remember he walked over to Ivor's, uh, I mean, grave and made fun of him, kind of. So like. Is there yeah. something like he's gonna go through with that? I don't. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what the story is. So maybe, and hopefully it's I good. Like, yeah. Because I, I, I really I mean, don't want to see assassins kind of just go the way of like something like, like nonsense and like nothing really makes sense yeah. anymore. So we well, already got really they weird are doing this. We already got so. really weird with what happened with Desmond, and then now what happened with you? You Lila. said it. Thank you, Lila. With all that. Which was like, whoa, whoa. Like, if you haven't yeah, played I, Assassin's Creed 2 through Revelations, you're like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Like, even then, I still don't. I'm like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, even even us who've played every game, we're still like, who is this? I think I know what this yeah. is. And then you're kind of piecing it together. Remember, remember in, I think it was in 2, or uh, where you gotta pick up all the the hidden uh, Edens with, to, for that project video, and you just see Adam, I think it's Adam and Eve running through a bunch of like like yep. destruction and stuff. Like, yeah, well, yeah, it was well, Adam what? and Eve. Yeah, that was. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, Adam and Eve running through it, and like they never even bring that up really again. Like we get, we know that was the um. I don't even remember the names. The it was like Project Something. I forget what. No, the but name was. I, I don't remember their name. Like the people, like the people that began the the people who made humans. What were their names? Oh, I don't fucking know. It's been so long since I played those. I don't predecessors remember. or it's something like that. Maybe. Um. But yeah, that yeah, it, Assassins has gotten nonsense. Like if I actually had to explain Assassin's mm -hmm. Creed to someone, I would. Uh, but it yeah. used to be about the Mayan apocalypse, then that never happened, and then the main character died. 
Mm-hmm. Alex, we mm-hmm. can finally stop getting this question. It okay. can finally stop being asked. And now you can start asking when is it going to come out. Grand Theft Auto 6 has been confirmed to be in development because for some reason people thought that wasn't the case. So Rockstar came out and said it. Um, I, I'm assuming Rockstar just wanted to announce it. I don't know particularly why Rockstar did this. Um, maybe it's in it's like It's preparation. like the whole thing. Sorry, go no, ahead. No, 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 uh, you're fine. Ahead. Maybe it's in preparation of an announcement on a earnings call and they wanted it to, to come out early or i don't i don't know it was just random that they just announced i it think it i think it's the same thing that we as we got with elder scrolls 6 i think uh, elder scrolls 6 i think it's just to shut people up and people as in consumers and higher ups to be like hey where's this game at it was like mm-hmm. hey we're working on it leave us alone yeah right? i wouldn't be shocked if like there's like because it's been it's, i mean what 2013 almost 10 years since the last one yeah so I mean, that's probably the people in the high pe- people in the higher ups will be like, "Hey, we want the next one." Red Dead didn't do that good online, so we want the next edit- uh, the next installment. What's up? And this news came alongside Grand Theft Auto Five coming to PS Five and Series X on March fifteenth. There will be a graphics mode up to four K and up to sixty frames per second. This comes with improved textures and draw distance. Comes with HDR, HDR, and ray tracing options, faster loading, 3D audio, and on PS5 you will get DualSense support, like haptic feedback. Hmm. Is this enough for you to go back to Grand Theft Auto V? Is there any achievement list? Probably not. Then probably not. I'll, I'll look at it. I'll, I'll turn it on to look at it. But, like, if it's not, like, for example, like, Life is Strange got a whole, like, whole new achievement list. Like, it's a whole remaster. If that's not the case with this, I mean, I have no incentive in going back. Maybe I'll go back on PlayStation and get Maybe. trophies. Because yeah. if I remember correctly, like, three years ago, when they announced Grand Theft Auto V was coming to PS5, they said it, you would get it for free on play, PC, PS5? Let me see. I'm pretty sure. So if that's still the case, I'll play it on PS5. Alex is going to verify that for me, and I appreciate him. But I'm pretty sure that was announced, because then, then, then they announced also on PS4, you'll get yes. 100,000 RP, I think is oh, wait, what it's no, called in the, the game. GTA Online. Sorry, hold on. You're fine. I think they also announced 100,000 RP like every month leading up to it coming out, and then they delayed it. <laughs> so that never happened. But I'm pretty sure that was announced when they, they... I feel like I wouldn't just make that up. But if that is still true and I, and I didn't make that up, I'm just going to play it on PlayStation. I'm looking right now. While Alex is looking that up, I'm going to move on. Sony a- uh, AI unveils Gran Turismo Sophie, a breakthrough in AI. This is a very... Achievers. There is a free upgrade. Thank you. There is a GTA very Auto. wordy thing going on with this... Uh, article that I'm not going to read verbatim. Basically, what I thought was cool and I wanted to bring up that Sony AI with Polyphony and Sony Interactive announced that they have like a superhuman AI thing that's going to be able to uh to beat the world's best drivers in the Gran Turismo game. Um, Whoa. and I'm going to read a quick uh suburb from the actual article where on Sony AI that they announced it. So, uh, the uh GT. Sophie is an autonomous AI agent trained utilizing a novel deep reinforcement learning platform developed in collaboration with Sony AI, PDI, which Polyphony Digital, and Sony Interactive Entertainment. Each group contributes to the success of the project by bringing together expertise in fundamental AI research and development, a hyper-realistic real-world racing simulator, and infrastructure for massive-scale AI training. So... Sophie was trained to master the following driver skills needed to compete with the world's best championship level drivers. One, race car control, deep understanding of car dynamics, racing lines, and pre- uh, precision maneuvers to conquer challenging tracks, racing tactics, split second decision making. I'm going to shorten all this up. Racing etiquette, mm-hmm. essential for fair play. So it's not just like destroying people, it's just it's racing fairly. I just wanted to bring this up. This was kind of cool. Like they just, they made this AI, they're going to make it compete against like the top. Um, racers right now uh on... so if i wanted to go against sophie oh no right they already, now, it already took pl- my sorry ass. sorry it, yeah it would be you. sorry this already this already took place so sony i tested the, the compatibility compatibilities of gt sophie 
by racing amongst four of the world's best Gran Turismo drivers in two Race Together 2021 Challenge events, which took place on July 2nd of 2021 and October 21st, 2021. Um, and by making improvements on the results of the first race, Sophie outperformed the best human GT drivers in both time trial races and in FIA certified Grand Turismo Championship format for the second event in October. Damn. So basically, they made this AI that will beat all the humans. Oh, whoa. Pretty cool. I just wanted to bring that up. They announced that a couple yeah. of the other days. I saw no one else really talking about it, so oh. I thought it was kind of interesting. I like uh, this guy, uh, the champion for 2020. He was like, I forget. It says a quote, I completely forgot that I was playing against an AI. It was really fun. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool that you have fun yeah. with that. I can't imagine. Yeah. It, it it must be kind of cool to be like, wow, yeah, you made this thing that's just going to beat me. And mm-hmm. um, I know people were like, Did, so they just made it harder? Well, they actually trained the AI to be able to like learn while it's driving, it seems, to where it can like compare what happened when it loses and then perform that's better wild. in the next race. Woo! I thought it was kind of cool. I just want to talk about it. Um, I yeah, don't have any much to add. I just want to bring it up. So, Achievers, if you have anything to add to this, that was, that'd be cool. Just comment below. But it's kind of cool. I kind of nerded out when I was reading it, too. I was like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah, I mean, technology, man. It's like, have you even have you seen the new... Um, I think it's for Unreal 5. Like, they showed, like, this... Uh, God, I forget her name. It's They showed this AI or this character, and you could see the facial expressions of this character. Uh, let me see. Were they just showing off Unreal Engine 5? I can't remember if it was Unreal Engine 5, but I remember listening to uh, Kind of Funny, and they were talking about it, it that they they were showing the facial expressions, because it looked like, it, like the facial expression, excuse me, facial expressions of this computer, and it was, I think it was supposed to be an AI in the game, but, like, they looked so realistic. Like, they did, like, the, it almost looked it looks like it was like you know when you something realistic gets a little bit of that cg effect he, it's it's you talking it's like about that. um hey what's going on so a couple oh sorry if you heard no 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 uh, desktop audio um so is it the hyper realistic facial animation like thing it, there's it well the character the, the it, it there's it's a woman it has a it has a name oh and for, ziva <sighs> No, I don't know. I'll get. I'll, I'll try to look for it and I'll get okay. back to you. Okay, because I I see. Um, let me see if I can. Sh- okay, because I see this. Maybe it's that. I have to see. I think so. Viewers, you see this? If you're on YouTube, sorry. If you're not on YouTube, we're just showing think, like a a hyper realistic real time thing for Unreal Engine. I think it's that. So I'll quit. I'll we'll we'll quickly like scrub through this. So it looks like, okay, yeah, so this is in-engine, yeah, that's, pr- okay, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, it does, it definitely has an Uncali Valley kind of thing going here. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that's it. Yeah, because she's even, like, contorting her face and stuff, yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, and, like, you can see her, like, breathing and stuff. Oof. Okay, well, let's get that out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, that was actually very good, it was very impressive. Um... Look it up. It just to type Unreal Engine Five facial animation achievers. If you want to uh, watch along with us, um, that was pretty cool. Thank you for showing mm-hmm. that, Alex. I did not know it was uh, that good because uh, she was moving her face and that looked very realistic. Like the little like kind of move she did with her face was like too good. So, yeah. Uh, Alex, did you watch the Wolf Among Us two trailer? I did not. You did not. We may. We no, might. We might sense. do something about that then. It- but. Really quickly, Wolf Among Us 2 did do a quick, like, look over. Coming uh, 2023, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series S and X. Big B, uh, a couple uh, things. I'm not going to spoil anything, but you're outside of uh, Fable Town. Um, Buffkin is returning. There's some Wizard of Oz people in it. You, and apparently they will finish the full season before it launches to make sure nothing gets delayed or things like that. You get ask someone intruding in your house. You can go if you need to. Um, my well, my my wife just got here and the dogs are barking and I got the baby asleep. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. give me one no, second. No, go ahead. No. Anyways, that was really all for that. I don't I don't want to spoil too much because it spoils a lot from the trailer. So go ahead and um look that up, achievers, if you want any more knowledge on that. Achievers, that's that's really it for the week. We don't we didn't really have much news to talk about. 
Um, all we did was talk about some of the smaller news I'm that happened throughout the week, and then of course the big reveal for the Microsoft <clears throat> thing. So we didn't really have much to talk about. So Alex, hmm. we're kind of we're kind of good for the week. Now I did want to. Um, this is actually from last week, so we didn't really cover any of that. No, but no. you know, I'm, I mean, I'm excited for uh, for for Wolf Among Us too, because I mean, I was debating on going back and replaying the first season because I honestly don't remember a lot about it. I was too. I was showing my wife. Um, I was showing my wife it, and I was like, "This is I love this game. Like, I should I should play it with you, or you should play it, and let mm-hmm. me know what you think because it's right up our alley with like the stuff in it. Like, you know, there's no there's Little Mermaid, sure. there's Big Bad Wolf, yeah, I mean, it's Fable, Riding Hood, it's cool, it's cool, it's so, it's so cool. So I actually might uh, do that as well. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe we'll do some content on it. But Alex, hmm. that's the news for the week. This is a, this that's one. Of the, no more. This is one of the short ones for the week. I we didn't we didn't yeah. really have too much to cover. It's more of a chill week. Um, more of a relaxing start to the to the year. Remember, it's already February, so make sure you get ready. Valentine's Day is soon. Remember, get your significant other something nice or do something uh, kind of nice for this month. Or sorry, them this month. Mm-hmm. Alex. I like to end the show the way I started, asking you one simple question. What do you have queued up for the week? This is, of course, this is a question for Alex, but this is also a question for you at home. What do you have queued up for the week? This could, of course, be a book, a comic book, a movie, a TV show, a video game, anything. Alex, hmm. what do you have queued? I do want to finish Dying Light. I must try to see if I can finish that before Horizon. I have about a week. I think I can finish it. Okay. If uh, As long as I don't have to be like a certain, like, level to progress through the story because i know there's certain areas that require you to be a higher level um i'm gonna try to finish that then i will hopefully have in time for horizon because then after that we got elden ring and witch queen yes we got witch queen first on the 22nd 22nd, and then on the 25th the 28th 25th okay i thought it was 28th 25th is Elden ring yeah goodness yeah <laughs> yeah goodness yes i'm so. not gonna lie those, one of those games is probably getting uh not shelved but oh no it's gonna be we're gonna rotated. see we're gonna see who's who's getting shelved for what in the span yeah. of a week we have horizon elden ring and witch queen yeah and That's i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to make sure i'm gonna write it down I'm, and i'm gonna be like go, come back to this game because mm. if not it's gonna be like with the first Horizon, I waited five years to play that game, yep. and I finally beat it. We'll see if it happens again. We'll see. For me, nothing, nothing new. I'm gonna try and uh, squeak out some more Pokemon Legends, play some more Dying Light, enjoy that. Uh, I might try out some of these. Uh, I might try out that pro- uh, Project Triangle uh, strategy demo mm-hmm. on Switch. Um, but aside from that, Alex, I don't really mm-hmm. have too too much queued up for the week. I want to get through this My Hero season I'm on. I'm almost done. Yeah, um, I'm trying to finish Expanse. I'm on season five, and there's six seasons. Yeah, and I'm caught up to the simul dub. Uh, if for everyone who knows out there, achievers, I'm not so I'm behind on like the the dub yeah, stuff. I'm, but I'm, I'm behind I'm, on Attack on Titan. Yes, I I need to get back on. Titan. I need I need, I need to. I I hear that. too much good stuff. There are people literally um in my t- timeline saying this is the this may be the best anime ever made. I was like. Phew. Might be right. Just from this season, like goodness. Oh, no, 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 well, no, no, no. If they said if it ends correctly, oh, if this, it ends this correctly, this show might be the best anime ever made. And I'm like, Oof. I can see it. Yeah, it's see a it. good show. It's a good show. It's a good anime. Yeah, yeah. Achievers, thank you so much mm. for listening. Remember, YouTube, subscribe, comment, like, give us all the love. Algorithm helps us a lot. Let us know if we we can do anything for you. This is a two-way streak, so if you need anything from us, let us know in the comments below. Remember, patreon.com, if you want to do anything financial, contact the show, get into the show, add a question, anything. Twitter, at EMF, has an at Crave, Subscriber, all that good stuff. But until the next time, remember, go Chief. Go Chief.